So after trying since basically forever to use computers to accurately predict the stopping distance of locomotives and their rolling stock, I decided to try and make something that would work irrespective of whatever specific locomotive or rolling stock or capacity you use. So what I have here is a system that can slow down any train um, in this braking area and then bring it to a full and complete stop here in the stopping area. Um, so the way it works is that first we detect a train incoming here and we actually set its brakes to zero and then we activate all these uh, speed retarders and set the throttle to half to 50% and then we let the train slow down here for about 10 seconds, which gives it plenty of time for any train to stop. Um, and its throttle, remember, is still at 50%. And then we deactivate these speed retarders so that the uh, train can slowly come back up to speed. Um, and then it reaches this point where we've activated these speed retarders. So once again, the train slows down and then it sort of crawls along till it reaches this um, detector and controller, at which point we set the brakes to maximum, let the train come to a complete stop, and set the throttle to zero, and then deactivate those speed retarders, and then we're basically set. So let me show it in action. So now we're waiting for a train to come over this detector, and I have a train waiting over here, a narrow gauge um, K36. So we're going to take this one for a spin, and notice it's got, I think that's 10 boxcars. Um, so we're going to bring it up as fast as we can. And let's fly over so we can watch it from afar. slows it down and for the faster a train is going it has exponentially more energy and thus it takes a longer time to slow down so if you have, are dealing with extremely long trains then of course you'll want to make this braking area longer but that's simply not a signal and as you could hear by the horn we've reached technically we've touched the detector here so the train has been uh, powered off Brake set to zero, throttle set to zero, and this speed retarder, both speed retarders are now deactivated. So if we want, we can just go. And yeah, so hopefully with this, it'll be possible to have a train that is able to stop at, a, at an exact specific point above a computer control augment. That way you can automatically stop trains at the exact point you want them to, and then at the same time, wait a few moments for it to unload or reload all its cargo, refuel, etc., and then you can automatically start it back up and go on its way. So yeah. I sh will be posting the uh, source code for this, although it is quite trivial. I'm going to be posting that in the video description. But yeah, thanks for watching.